What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to be having a look at iOS 11 on the iPad Pro. Now, Apple did change a lot with iOS 11 this year. They redesigned the App Store and added a bunch of handy features. A link will be in the description if you want to check them out. The iPad also got a whole bunch of software changes so let's go ahead and check them out. First of all, you might notice that Apple now added a dock to the iPad, which helps with multitasking throughout the whole device. The dock hides like it does for full screen apps in Macs, however, you can just swipe up to reveal it again. So you can use the dock in applications to multitask and activate split screen. I found this really useful as I was to be able to get more done using my iPad. So you can put any application into your dock. For example, if you was using Safari and you wanted to go ahead and make an email or something, swipe up to reveal the dock drag and drop your mail application onto your screen and then you can start composing your email as well as browse the web. So Apple have also introduced drag and drop functionality through iOS. So for example, if you were browsing through Safari and you wanted to start taking some notes, jump into your notes application and you can actually drag a URL, photo or piece of text right from Safari into the application itself that's on the other half of the screen. Even though that the iOS 11 is in beta, the drag and drop feature works really well. I'm really excited to use it when the full version of iOS is released in September, but let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. So Apple have combined the multitasking tray along with the control center. So when you double click your home button, you will be directed to this kind of mission control for the iPad. Personally, I'm a fan of the control center. It's redesigned, it looks really nice, and I'm very impressed with it, how it looks on the iPad. So there are a whole bunch of productivity features in the iPad Pro itself. As you can see, you can go ahead and select photos with ease and drag them into a notes application or Safari, or even a mail application, which is kind of cool. So let us know what you think about iOS 11 in the comment section, guys. If I did miss anything out, hit me up in the comment section, hit the subscribe button, and as always, I'll catch you in the next video.